pain can so slow anyone down. I mean, if you look at people who have just had a surgery, the very first thing that they, meaning the hospital staff, want is for them to get up and move. Or if they're having a hard time breathing and it had something to do with breath, the first thing they want them to do, exercise the lungs. So in this particular case, chronic pain, it doesn't matter where in your body. I am speaking from personal experience, okay? When I started getting my diagnosis of fibromyalgia, I had a combination of chronic pain and chronic fatigue. Now what I learned was that with the chronic pain, it's a matter of working through the pain. Yeah, that sounds easier said than done. I even said those exact words to the doctor, I remember to this day, and that was ages ago. I said, excuse me, you tell me to move. That's easier said than done. Trust me, just being able to get up and be able to move was super challenging. Just being able to function, and I'm, I'm like, you don't understand, it hurts so bad. And the truth is, he didn't understand. But the other truth is, I'm speaking from experience. <laughs> Anyhow, what I'm trying to say is that, yes, life hurts. Yes, chronic pain does cause challenges. So does arthritis. But they have the same exact response. Move. Don't sit still. Don't let it take over your body. Because the more you let that pain take over your body, the more enabling you are to be classified disabled and gradually crawl into a cocoon and not be able to function. You might ask, what do I mean by this? Well, simply put, you need to be able to... My arms, I'm moving them. At one time, to move my arms... I could feel it all through my body. To cross my legs, it hurt so bad. To touch me in any spot, it ached. I didn't get it. Neither the doctors at the time, but now they understand in full. But it took work. It took my brain to say, oh, I really can function. So here's my challenge to you, and it's a biggie, and that is take your mind and say, no, I need to move. I need to function. Will you still be classified disabled? Eh, possibly. Not a guarantee. It just simply means that you're going to have a little more challenge than the average everyday person to be able to function and to be able to move. That being said, many doctors, and I have heard this across the board, they say, yes, it's going to hurt, but yes, it will feel better in the long run. Now, I'm going to give you some examples of exercises, not in this video, because I'm simply discussing chronic pain and its validity. Chronic fatigue is also valid. And fibromyalgia is also valid. I don't care what the medical community says. There are so many doctors out there who will deny that fibromyalgia even exists. Chronic pain is all in your head. Chronic fatigue is all in your head. Yes and no. Yes, because you can work on your mind to reset, but it takes time. Typically, what causes the pain, and I cover this in a couple of my courses, is that there have been extreme nerve issues, extreme stressors in life, whether they've been self-inflicted or by something that has happened around you that you have taken in and you haven't been able to express it so your nerves have. That's all it is. That you've taken in some sort of stressor and the only way to express it is through your nerves. And so your nerves have gone, I hate you. 
I hate this world and I'm not going to function. I am going to make you hurt. You're going to hurt from now until the end of time. Eh, that's choice. Now it's a matter of working through those issues and saying, no, I am not going to let this pain take my life over. I am not going to allow this fatigue to take my life over. I am going to go forward and I'm going to make something of myself. I am going to make this work for me, no matter how hard it takes, how hard it is and how long to process all of this so that I can have a better life. You have to put that into your brain. I know I sound like a broken record probably, but trust me, I've been here. It took me, okay, I'm going to be honest with you. It took me over one year to get over the pain. And still on occasion, I have those pain episodes. But I look back at, okay, what has happened to cause those pain episodes? It could be a matter of overdoing something. It could be a matter of a stressor. It could be a matter of just anything. But that comes later on. Okay? First things first. You got to work on getting that pain under control to where you're living a low to no pain life, living it in a five or below. Now, those of you who don't understand, it's a pain scale, zero to ten. Okay, zero meaning you're feeling no pain whatsoever, and 10 meaning you're in excruciating pain. Don't come near me, don't touch me, I hurt, leave me alone. Okay, the goal here is to simply get you at a five or below. And that is my goal for you or for the people that you know who have chronic pain, chronic fatigue, or fibromyalgia. Even those with arthritis can be put into this category. Is it a challenge? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to deny that. But is it possible? Darn right it is. I am going to say right now, it is possible to work through that pain and live a low to no pain life. Stay tuned for further course programs that I have created for fibromyalgia chronic pain and chronic fatigue to bust through, to take control of your life, to help those around you, to help you to take control over your life and to live a low to no pain life.